Hi guys, Sussex EDC here uh, and in this second video that I'm producing for you guys I'm just actually going to show you um, my knife collection up to date which is the end of April um, so let's dive in uh, first off here I have a small uh, finger uh, before it was bought out by Victorinox uh, pocket knife this is a uh, brightening branded I think I mentioned in my previous video that I'm a watchmaker so I've got various um, branded uh, tools and equipment over the years so we have a small knife small file and some pretty decent uh, scissors I actually really enjoy this uh, spring system on the Venga as opposed to the, uh, the Victorinox but uh, yeah comes in a nice nice little pouch little sheath lovely job classic everyone's got one Victorinox SD uh, it's got the blade the file with the small screwdriver and of course tweezers and toothpick Everyone knows it, everyone loves it. Uh, and then what we have here is um, a, a small box uh, that I keep all of my knives in. Uh, I'm going to maybe do another separate video about this box. Uh, but here's what we have here. So we have a Fox Baby Core. Love this design. Uh, Jesper Voxner's design. Um, you'll see a, a theme really I think with my knife collection the kind of things I'm into we have a oh, baby banter it's a VV baby banter great little knife probably my most carried so far um, lovely choil great knife that very smooth to open as well this is less smooth uh, this is spider co ambitious is that right? Yeah, ambitious. I put a Lynch um, deep carry clip on that, paid extra, almost as much as the knife itself, but definitely worth it. Um, yeah, nice little shape, small. I mean, all of my knives are, are sub three inches for UK um, legal carry reasons. Uh, you've seen that some are locking. Um, because of my job, um, I'll carry a knife on me and uh, they do need to be locking um, in certain circumstances. If I'm doing repairs on clocks or I need to, you know, choke right up high on the blade, um, you know, if I'm working like that, I, I don't want it to, to close in on me when I'm, I'm, I'm working. Um, so just for safety reasons, I, I'll do have a lock on some of my knives. Uh, Victorinox Bantam, deep carry clip, that's a suspension clip. I really do prefer that. Um, lovely blade. Then you have the... Uh, Bottle opener, can opener, wire stripper, screwdriver combo. Just a lovely slim profile on that. That's why I chose it. Slim profile. Don't even notice it in your pocket. Uh, love this knife, actually. Really nice looking knife. Uh, Boca Tech, uh, Tech Tool 1, I believe it's called. Um, just a simple blade. Uh, a bit unusual to have that. That's a uh, glass breaker. But I love the G10 scales on this. Actually looks like a bit of an executive knife a bit like this uh, CRKT CEO um, you know same, similar sort of vibe to it uh, I really do like uh, those scales if I have to you know put on a suit but still want to carry a knife that's the one that I go to it's a lovely little lovely little knife that Kaiser uh, zip slip lovely little knife UK legal deep carry clip really prefer that um, not too aggressive looking again you'll see that theme none of my knives are too aggressive looking I think probably the most um, tactical looking should I say is probably that Spyderco um, but yeah that's a lovely little knife that the interesting uh, back spring where this doesn't rise up when you open and close it it's got a, a spring that comes down on the inside um, yeah not quite a 90 degree uh, half stop but it has got a half stop uh, nice little knife that it's a VV Elementum. <laughs> you can see I'm still learning how to open these knives. Um, ebony scales. Lovely. Again, that's one that I would wear if I was wearing a suit. Um, 
small small crack there. I've not noticed that around the pivot in the in the scales, but that's all right. Deep carry clip. Um, D2 um, steel on that, which I'm not a huge fan of, just because it's less corrosion resistant to other stainless steels. But it's such a you know a classic knife for collectors. It had to be done really. Um, this one was inspired by Gadget Gus. Saw this reviewed in his uh, site on his channel and had to get one straight away. Um, really recommend you check his channel out. Um, concept bevy. Uh, again, nice sheep's sheep's foot uh, shape to it. Almost got a bit of a cutthroat razor shape to it, but a little bit less aggressive. Heine Haynes exclusive. Nice red scales. Um, yeah, lovely little knife that. Hear yeah, that nice little lovely. Uh, and last but not least, uh, we have the CRKT Pilar. Um, small blade, lovely, lovely shape blade. Again, uh, just with Vox Nace. Um, I'm not really a fan of the um, frame lock, uh, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, I just love that shape of the blade. Um, it really is a good looking blade that um, hasn't got a deep carry clip um, and it's the, probably the heaviest knife in my collection uh, all of that steel um, for the uh, the liners the for the scales it's a it's a heavy knife you definitely know you've got it in your pocket but it's a, it's a lovely looking knife that I uh, wish it was deep carry uh, I've been trying to look into finding um, aftermarket deep carry clip haven't had any luck yet um, there was a a slot missing and that's actually the one that I've got in my pocket today uh, and that is a wee uh, banter um, after the baby banter that's my first one that I've got I um, wanted to get one of these as well had to get it in the uh, Ben Peterson Ben Blue uh, just as a bit of a you know homage um, it was a little bit stiff when I first got it I had to put a couple of drops of oil and now it's it's really smooth uh, it's worn in lovely um, such a good knife. Um, it really, I mean, I, I won't really add to it. Everyone, everyone knows how good this knife is and why it's become a classic already. Um, it's functional, does the job really well. Good steel S thirty five V. Um, yeah, lovely little knife that. Um, can't go wrong. So yeah, that's my collection up 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 to now. Um, I've got other knives um, that I haven't really included in this because they're ones that I have to use for work. Um, I will be doing some videos about those down the line. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a really quick overview of uh, what I've got at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to, to put it in the comments. Uh, grateful for uh, your support so far. It's um, been, been great with Gadget Gus uh, you know, giving me a little shout out last week. So I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, I look forward to sharing some more with you guys. Have a good one.